When learning to program field programmable gate arrays, known as FPGAs, or application-specific integrated circuits, known as ASICs, using hardware description languages such as Verilog and VHDL, it's very important to be able to simulate the code that we write and view the output of that code as it's an important part of the learning process. In this video, we will be taking a look at how to install GHDL and GTK Wave. This tutorial is targeted to Windows users that are willing to learn VHDL. The video will first take a look at what GHDL is and what GTK Wave is, and then we will take a look at how we will install GHDL and then take a look at how we will install GTK Wave. In our next video, we will take a look at an example where we will be utilizing these two softwares to get started with a simple VHDL code. This tutorial also assumes that you have a code editor for VHDL installed, such as Notepad++. However, there are a lot of code editors out there that you can use. I will be linking a video tutorial for the installation of Notepad++ below. So what is GHDL? GHDL is a fully open source VHDL compiler and simulator, and it's nearly 20 years old. There is a community of developers on GitHub that maintain the GHDL code base and regularly release new updates. You can use GHDL on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux based operating systems. And it currently fully supports the VHDL 87, 93, and 2002 standards. In addition to this, many of the most valuable features of VHDL 2008 are also supported. However, there are a few drawbacks to using GHDL. You can only use GHDL to simulate VHDL-based designs, and this means you can't use this for Verilog or System Verilog, and you would need to find another tool if you wanted multi-language support. Another drawback is that there is no way for you to display the waveforms of your simulations in GHDL. You would need to export your files to a dump file format such as value change dump for it to be viewed on GTK Wave. And GTK Wave is an analysis tool to used to perform debugging on Verilog or VHDL simulation models. It supports various dump file formats such as VCD and interlaced extensible trace LXT. So let's go ahead and install GHDL. To install GHDL, search for GHDL Windows Win32. Go over to the releases and you will see that for, there are different versions that you can install. Navigate over to the most recent version, click on Assets and find the zip folder that contains Win32 in it. So this is the closest that I could find download the zip folder. So I went ahead and downloaded the folder and I can see that inside the zip folder we have the GHDL with three main folders, the bin folder, the include and the library folder. So we would need to extract this folder You can extract it into the same repository. And then you can go ahead and delete your zip folder that you've downloaded. Now we will go ahead and install the GTK Wave software. To install GTK Wave, go ahead and search for it. Then click on the GTK Wave from SourceForge's website and then it will download shortly. 
in the file that you've downloaded your files in, go ahead and extract that as well. Once extracted, you can find three files as well, the share, the lib, and the bin folders. Now that we've downloaded both files, we can go ahead and delete the zip file. And what we will do is, now that we've downloaded our files, let's navigate over to our local disk and create a folder called EDA. After creating this folder, we will take a copy of the folders that we've extracted and paste it over here and we should take care if, of naming these files as follows naming the ghdl file as ghdl and gtk wave as gtk wave we should also make sure that the bin the binary files for both gtk wave and ghdl are available then in your search go ahead and search for environment variables click on edit the system environment variables click on path edit and make sure that you mention the the paths of the gtk the bin folder of the gtk wave and the bin folder of ghtl you can add them through clicking on U and pasting the path of the binary folders of both GHDL and GTK Wave. And after doing that, you can go ahead and click OK, click OK, and OK. And with that, you have installed GTK Wave and GHDL.